hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video we will move on and continue our journey for the charting so in the previous video you have seen the simple bar chart and how we moved on to a step bar chart which is this is horizontal and if you need vertical then this is basically the vertical one so this is what we covered in the previous video but in this video let's say our requirement is that these stacks we don't want like this because this does not does not show very effectively whether this particular segment which is consumer is greater than this this particular section which is consumer technology and this is consumer furniture and i want that for each of my customer category i need a separate bar itself so that i can make comparison pretty easy i don't have to do a lot of exercise by my eyes to see okay this is uh, 391k and then this is 406k but by just looking at the chart itself i should be able to understand that which one is higher and which one is lower based on the different product categories so to do that what we have is basically the group or the clustered bar chart so once we click over here you can clearly see that uh, that stack is divided into three different bar for each consumer each bar represent the product category and if i expand it it clearly says that this particular technology in the consumer is going far and above uh, in in case when comparison with the consumer here in this case clear comparison is uh, present that this is the highest one followed by this and then this similarly here a proper comparison or a clear comparison has been made so a stack bar chart uh, which we created earlier which was which is this you can see that uh, from a comparison perspective it it uh, gives us a lot of challenge whereas the group bar chart or the clustered bar chart gives us the flexibility that we can easily make some sort of a comparison now like i discussed earlier that uh, by default you will get this type that means the horizontal um, clustered bar chart if you need vertical you have the option available over here and you click over there you get the vertical one and this again a very easy and a standard way uh, by which uh, your end user basically sees the information so if i go back to the report uh, clearly it shows how a normally uh, bar chart is basically shown and it, it clearly reflects the comparison sort of uh, feature where your i don't have to do a lot of exercise to we make sure that what is higher what is lower but from the visual itself in just few second you can clearly know where which chart uh, which bar is high and which bar is low so that's what i wanted to discuss in this video about the clustered bar chart which is uh, the horizontal and the vertical or the column chart for the clusters